about two o'clock in the morning. We're just coming up to Will Rogers State Park here. Partners are at it again. Oh, there you go. Let's go here. <laughs> Partners are at it again. Going, trying to do an out and back on the Backbone Trail. And uh, so it's 136 ish miles, hopefully. and Give it a go. Any pre-run thoughts there, partner? We've got a nice moon tonight up there. I'm happy for that. And uh, I'm wearing new shoes. I'm hoping that my heels hold out. Uh, I'm just breaking in some speed goats. That's what's on my mind at the moment. <laughs> yeah. So we'll. We'll uh, take off here in a few minutes and then we'll check back in a bit, start. We're getting ready to set it off with the sprinklers. <laughs> yeah, just tell me when you're ready. All right, ready? Yeah, uh, one, I'll go three. One, two, three. All right, we are off and running. Well, Hiking. There's that big full moon and walking up out of here at Will Rogers State Park about five minutes after two. So we were hoping to start at two, but a little bit, a few minutes late. Not too bad. Just leaving out of Will Rogers State Park and you can see Santa Monica lights. Pacific Ocean's out there in the dark. We'll get plenty of views over that next couple days. So the FKT for this is 413309, I believe. So that's supported. So we kind of have our eye on that time. There is no unsupported time. So we're trying to set the mark for that with the, with the eye on taking the overall FKT if things go well. The weather today is going to be pretty cool. Low to mid 60s. But uh, tomorrow is going to warm up. We're going to be low to mid 70s. So be a little trickier on Saturday when we're heading back this direction. We're just past a mile and see that LA skyline just opening up for us. So we just about 11 point, about 11 and a quarter miles just got to uh, Trippet Ranch. And we're about three hours and 14 minutes in, so we're about 20 minutes ahead of pace, which is good. Yeah. Had a good section so far. It's a little after 5 a.m. and uh, uh, yeah, so we're uh, feeling good hiking, and setting a good pace early. There's fairies got us going. It's been a beautiful morning. It's been had a marine layer up on top. We still got a little bit of it, but uh, it's. Been a perfect morning so far. All right, so we're just click mile 14, right at the base of the climb up to Stunt. About four hours and 12 minutes in. Just getting to see Don's light popping up. We just Got past about 6.15 or so in the morning. We're avoiding all the poison oak in this area quite a bit. Got to see, there you can see it. Dawn. Looks like it's gonna be a beautiful sunrise. Got some clouds in the sky. It's already kind of, kind of pinkish, so hopefully. We'll get a good look at the sunrise here in about a half hour. 
to start this big climb right now. Yeah, little fella. A little brown. Any idea what it is? You're in the right ballpark. So There's two of them there. One there, one here. Oh, uh, yeah. Look. Cool. All the things you see These are salamander. on the on the backbone trail. What are you doing right now? Taking your jacket off? Yeah, I got your extra? jacket, the beanie, the gloves, the lamp, it's all off. Yeah. Time, time to climb. Yeah, totally. Going up, up, up to the top of stunt. Two stunt. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Oh, here's another one of those little fellas where they just come out. There's another one. <laughs> another one. Yeah, they look real slow too, like they're just waking up. What a trip. There's another one right here. I know. Yeah, so we're just working our probably about halfway up this climb. I'm trying to catch a glimpse of that sunrise. This cold climb is kind of packed in the trees, so. basically on this run because we're unsupported so both of us are carrying close to 10,000 calories and uh, I got a two liter bladder with a couple bottles here on the front and then I got a couple extra bottles for Payuma when we fill up Chris has got five liter capacity he started with two liters and then filled up two liters at Moosh. Did you, is that poison ivy? Yeah. Good. Yeah. I might get a little few here. Yeah, just a perfect morning to be out here. I'll probably. Probably past halfway up this climb, up to stunt. Get a view of that's where we're heading, straight up there. You can actually see some towers straight up the chute there. That's where we heading. About 16 miles in. About 4,200 feet of elevation gain so far. So, I think the, the run will be somewhere around 26, 27,000. So, a lot of work to do. We're doing good so far. It's beautiful out this morning. You can see these trails are just amazing. One of the prettier sections between Topanga and Stunt Road up on top there. Still working our way up. I think we're gonna get a nice view of the sunrise here. Nice exposed section. Oh yeah. Kind of looking back toward LA, Santa Monica, where we started.
just got to the top of the stunt climb and get our first view of the Pacific Ocean out there in Malibu. Got some type of towers up there. Got some nice mansions on the hill there. Coming to start and dump some trash and keep on trucking. So, just coming up on 20 miles. About halfway between Stunt and Ayuma. Ayuma is our next water fill area. There's a bathroom with water, so that's our next. Philip, and then we got a 35 mile segment with no water all the way to Danielson Ranch. So, got some leaves out toward Thousand Oaks. See how technical some of this trail is. Mr. Farrier, I'm bringing it in behind me right now. Get a little picture of him coming through. There he is. <laughs> How you feeling, Mr. Farrier? I've done 20 miles. <laughs> 20 miles on the backbone trail. Yeah. See up at all the rock formations. Pretty amazing all the rock. Yeah, my first <laughs> bite of jerky, I brought beef jerky, it was good. Oh, you got some jerky? Nope. Yeah, wait. I one of my uh, seven Snickers. <laughs> seven, seven Snickers and some beef jerky. We're doing good. <laughs> I got some turkey jerky. I avoided the beef jerky this time for some reason. Snickers before they melt. <laughs> yeah, no doubt, right? Tomorrow they'll be smoked. <clears throat> Look at this big boulder. Just a couple of them. Just love openings like this out here on this trail. Can't get glimpses of Pacific Ocean. Kind of see what's around us. You can see the top of Malibu State Park, and that's where we're heading. Those mountains up there. out there where we're heading down to Malibu State Park. Some of the houses over here is huge. It's a gorgeous trail. You kind of see the single track we're heading towards right there.
So Chris just pointed out that we got a dumpster right here just in case we need it on the way back. Yeah, on the way back, you need a nap. Yeah, I need a nap. There's my napper. Ooh, that's a good one too. That's pretty new. <laughs> So you can see we're heading into Hayuma and we are getting our packs ready so we can load up very quickly and boot it. So we're just coming up about a quarter mile away. We have arrived at the Payuma trailhead. There's a bathroom up here on the left that we will reach the backbone this way and here's our water source Ooh. We brought a rubber band to hold it down so we can fill it good and quick. Look at that. Alright, so we're just out of Payuma. Right. 25 miles. About 6,000 feet of gain. We're just starting to climb up the bulldog. Kind of see those antennas over there. That was stunt. That's where we came from. And we are <laughs> loaded. <laughs> I know um, our packs are about as heavy as they're gonna get. Right. About to do 35 miles without a water stop in the midday sun. Yeah. We had to load up. Load up. Yeah, so we're packing close to, he's got five liters. I got probably real close to that. I got five and a half and I drank a full one before I left. Oh, did you? Yeah. And you can see on my back, I got a couple of soft flasks back there loaded so i'm gonna put this camera away so i can use my poles and grind Ooh. so we just got up on top of the bulldog beautiful homes views we are at mile almost mile 27 a little over 7,000 feet of gain so far. I'm just short of eight hours and 30 minutes so far. Climb, climb, climb. ocean over here and then all those mountains that we came over there and we got to go back over them on the way back we are right up on still on top of the bulldog and this is that rock area it's just beautiful up in here Trail Canyon, or getting close to it anyway. Probably ready to hit 30 miles. We pretty get a little, a little warmer than we expect. We have a nice sea breeze. Thank God. That's it. 
warmer in the sun though. But here goes Chris. He's got another snicker bar. It really does satisfy. I think that's my last one. I think it's number 10. Number 10. That could be a record, dude. Nine hours and 15 minutes. 10 snicker bars. That's our view toward like a thousand oaks area. And then look toward the Pacific Ocean. Yes, sir. And here we are at Corral Canyon. Normally there's an aid station up here for the race and for the bulldog. But today we are carrying our aid station. Where we're heading. You see the trail heading out that way. This section always tricks trips me out. You can see up there there's a rusted car that came all the way down from up there. And I never even saw it until the the fires blew through here. Exposed it. But that's crazy. Just thinking what happened. So we're just getting to, just past mile 32. And you can see Corral way out there. And that's came right up this canyon here. It's just a beautiful trail. My goodness, what a day. through Latigo is right up there. Latigo trailhead. Now we're heading down here to the canyon. Canyon trailhead. Just right at 30, 34 miles, so right at the halfway point. We're quarter way, halfway done with the East to west, back on trail. Right, 10 hours and 30 minutes. It's nice and cool, you see. Kind of underneath the clouds right now. Keep, keep it. My name's Wyatt. Wyatt, Wyatt. Hi, man. See you. Oh, cool. So we're just coming into Canaan. Next stop, Ensign, all right. And we just went by a just met a guy named Wyatt who's gonna go after the supported FKT tomorrow. So we'll probably see him out here at some point. I'm sure he'll be surprised to see us. <laughs> Depending on what time he starts. Oh, that's right. We will probably cross paths again. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> You'll be like, what the hell? <laughs> exactly. So we just hit mile 41. You can see Ensignal down there, so it's a 
Nice trailhead with a bathroom and picnic tables and all. There's a partner. <laughs> yeah, so we're mile 41. Almost 10,000 feet of climbing in um, 12 hours and 30 minutes. There's a better shot out again, so. Yeah, we're working our way up towards Yerba Buena Road. It's getting pretty warm, but not too bad. Cooler today, it's gonna be hotter tomorrow, so we'll see how that goes. Looking forward to the cooler temperatures tonight. Ooh, a long trail. So right now we're at 46, almost 47 miles. About 11,200 again. Overall time is 14 hours, 18 minutes. Just poking along. Thankfully we had a breeze. Had a nice cool breeze. Going on us, keeping us from getting too cold. Awesome up here. Star mile 49 view. See it's getting towards let's see what time it is. 4.52. So we're going 14 hours 45 minutes. You can hear the wind, so I got a nice cool breeze. Just doing this last climb, you can see Farrier right up there on the tip. A couple miles out of uh, mile 51 ish, Mishimakwa. So, good stuff. Sandstone Peak. That's yeah, so nice out here. It's amazing. It's really hard. <laughs> it's amazing. Uh, 51. What'd you say? We're ahead of plan. Awesome. Ahead of plan. That's always a good thing. So we're about mile 55, 16 hours, 38 minutes. Coming off a sandstone peak descending down into Ray Miller area. There's our sunset. The wind's blowing pretty hard. Any thoughts there, Ferrier? Woo! <laughs> a little Ric Flair. Doing it, Bruce. Running ahead of schedule a little bit. This is a long out and back. <laughs> Not your typical. It's good conditions. It's nice cool breeze. Yeah. 
That's for sure. I was hoping to make it to Danielson before I had to get my gear on, but I might have to, we'll see. It's not too bad yet. Yeah, I saw, I looked back just to see. I figured something was going on because you dropped back and I know you're feeling good. This is what we're doing on Friday night. At it's 6.47 right now, Chris. Yeah. Yeah, it's been a good run so far. Uh, yeah, well. Um, I got, yeah, almost five, a little over five miles to get to Danielson, so. Yeah, I'm, yeah. True. Man, they really cleaned this area up. That's good. This area was so jacked up. Whoever did the trail work, thank you. Yeah. It's been a great day progress and should be able to make attempt at the return trip. So see how it goes. Oh. This is our beautiful sunset. You see the Pacific Ocean out there. The wind settled down a little bit for us. So it's actually quite nice right now. Such a great time to be out here. You can see Split Rock right down there. Whew. Just perfect. There's probably not too many opportunities to get the sunset with Split Rock. I was hoping to get the sun shining through it. Oh, wouldn't that be something? Yeah. Oh, there. Sun don't shine. Chad. That's a pretty sweet shot right there, though. Yeah, that's pretty. Not too many times you're gonna be seeing split rock with a sunset. First time for me. Oh yeah, me too. I mean, I've definitely seen split rock with a full moon before. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt. <laughs> So just descending into the Ray Miller Trailhead. That's 60, 67 miles, about 67 and a quarter. Chris is feeling great, and I'm not so great. bit tired and get a little better and took some caffeine.
get a little better so we will turn around. Come in here and fill up and take care of a couple things and get back on the road. Backbone. Where are we at right now? Oh, so we're running a little late. So Chris wants me to put this on film. <laughs> I'm in a low. And I'm moaning. And I'm crying like a baby. Just about 70 miles and I'm nauseous. I sat down to try to make it cute. stomach a little bit of it. I tried a wafer from Chris, but it was so dry. It was just yuck. How's your body temperature? Uh, kind of cold right now. Yeah. That's how we're trying to move it. How good did your gel taste? <laughs> Tastes like dog crap. <laughs> did you actually puke? No. No, you made yet. I tried. Pukey sounds, but you didn't quite get it out. Yeah. Oh man. Oh well. And how bad do you want to take a, a warm nap right now? <laughs> Very bad. That's the problem, we can't really stop. We're, there's a cold breeze and we're heading toward a valley that's really cold too. So. It is cold in that valley. Yeah, so. Anyway, that's the updated mile. 71 on my watch. So. <laughs> So we're at mile 78-ish, right at the bottom of sand, the big climb up to Sandstone Peak. We are laying in the dirt, taking a nap. <laughs> Our packs are full of water. And the climb up to here was just brutal from Danielson Ranch. So we're resting just a little bit, but we're starting to get cold. So we're gonna get moving again. Woo. So we were up here at Split Rock a few hours ago. Now we're back and got the full moon. Pretty sweet. So sunrise as we descend down to Mishimakwa. We are calling it a day. I got sick, or a little, I got nauseous, and can't get calories on me. at the office we were good for about good for about 60 65 miles so I get nauseous the stomach turned and just couldn't get it come back so as far as we can go 